This is Viva Loudon Live with Dan Sousa. We are starting off the spring sports season. A couple minutes late getting on there tonight. Trying to get all of our uh, spring sports top five uh, put together. It's sure to make people upset or happy, depending on if your team is ranked or not. Um, of course, early in the season, we're going off of what happened last year a lot. Uh, it's, we don't get a lot of reports with the snow last week. A lot of the scrimmages were canceled, so we don't really know exactly too much what's going on. A lot of the scores are rolling. We have nearly 30 games tonight in Loudoun. So I'm Dan Sousa, the editor of Viva Loudoun. And um, every Monday night at 9 o'clock, we're here on the air from the worldwide headquarters, Ashburn, Virginia. That's where I'm at right now. The sort of dimly lit dungeon. Uh, we're going to get the uh, fox mascot to work a little bit on our lighting for us. But uh, we put the, the winter sports season was put to bed last week. We only had two games, Potomac Falls, boys basketball, Loudoun County uh, girls basketball. Both lost the state semifinals. Both lost to Salem. So thank you, Salem High School, for, for doing that. No. Um, both those teams, the Panthers and the Raiders, had great seasons. So before we start with spring sports, let's go ahead and uh, give them a shout out. We also, uh, if you want to hit us with a question on Twitter, do hashtag AskViva or just hit us at, at Viva Loudon. That's on Twitter right now. We've got the screen up over here on the other computer. And if you ask a question during the show, we will give you a t shirt as a thank you. We had a trivia question from a week ago. I don't think anybody answered this trivia question. Let's flash this photo. Do you know this famous Loudoun County athlete? This is a shot from back in the 80s. If you know the name of this very famous Loudoun County athlete who's now a uh, administrator, maybe, coach, uh, something like that. I don't want to give away too much, but uh, give us his name. Tell us, uh, tell us what he's holding there. It says Parkview and Assured if you look closely. And we will send you a Viva Loudon t shirt. I have a t shirt over here to show you. The Viva Loudon t shirt right here. And people at Cheer Sports, nice enough to make the t shirts for us. So we want to thank them. First, one, let's give it an update. Um, Right now, one of uh, one of the downsides to doing the top five is some of the teams could lose before we even get them up on the board. Later on, we're going to build a boys soccer top five, and last year's state runner-up Tuscarora uh, was is number one in our chart. We'll we'll show you that. But uh, right now, going against rival Loudoun County on opening night, Tuscarora had a two nothing lead, and we have Josh Holden, one of our new Viva Loudoun interns at the game. He just texted me and said that Loudoun County not only had come back and they had tied it up in uh, in the second half, but now the game's headed into overtime. So Loudoun County, Tuscarora Boys Soccer headed into overtime 2-2, uh, early season uh, result. So we'll keep an eye on that. If we get anything that comes over, uh, we'll let you know that. We'll give a big shout-out here to Parkview Girls Soccer, won 5 nothing tonight against Wakefield. Um, nice result for them. So we'll go ahead and uh, tell you to do that. Freedom, 8 nothing over Garfield in baseball. So Freedom starting. They're going to be up on our top five chart. Obviously, Freedom made it to the state playoffs last year. It's great for them. But uh, nice one by Parkview Girls Soccer. I hear that uh, they have things building this year. Uh, goals were scored by Randy Sneed, Michelle Rosado, Amanda Goodby, and two goals by Nada Gerushai. Rushi. I'm sure I totally botched that name, but a 5 nothing victory for the Patriots, so congratulations. We have a lot of tennis scores that are rolling in. If you go to our Twitter account, at uh, Viva Loudon, you can follow our, our scores later on. Um, tomorrow morning, when you log on to VivaLoudon.com, we will put up all of the scores that we get from the tennis, the lacrosse, soccer, baseball, softball. We'll try to keep it all up to date, and then once this week gets going, this first week of the spring sports season, we will get our standings going. So. We appreciate the coaches and the fans, uh, the team managers, everybody that uh, sends us the scores. So that's uh, that's what helps keeps us uh, up to date on everything. 
So this year, uh, we didn't do a top five at all last year. So this year we thought, let's try to do a top five. Obviously, each week we'll update it. We'll get better. We'll get things dialed in a little bit clearer. But let's start with girls tennis, the local top five. Preseason, we're going with Broad Run, number one. They run defeated most of last year into the playoffs, AAA program. Number two, Woodgrove team that was the top in AA last year. They opened with the victory already tonight. Three, Dominion, which had a strong season last year in the Dulles District. Four, Tuscarora, and five, Briar Woods. It could have been a lot of teams in those four and five spots uh, early in the year. It'll be interesting to see. There's a lot of, obviously, there's, there's the seniors who graduate, and then we have the new players who come in, and we won't really know until we get a week or two under our belt uh, how that's going to be. Take a look at our top fives. If you agree with them, you disagree with them, let us know. You can always leave comments. We're going to put these uh, up on BeaverLoud.com. We will put the, uh, the top five for each sport up. You can leave comments there. Just make it polite and constructive. Um, you can uh, give us feedback via Twitter. Also on Facebook. That's uh, Facebook.com backslash BeaverLoudon. Before we get into the next sport, let's thank DMV Stream, which is what uh, you are on right now, either watching it live or you're watching the replay. Uh, the folks at DMV Stream, they, they do local shows like ours. They also do live events where they'll cover the games of the week. And so log on to DMV, DMVStream.com. Um, it is going to be a site that just keeps growing, and it's great for uh, athletics, especially high school athletics in the Northern Virginia area. Of course, DMV and we're talking Maryland and also uh, the District of Columbia. Boys tennis, top five, the local top five. We have Loudoun County, number one. Freedom, number two. Freedom had a great run last year. Briar Woods, three. Dominion, four. And Tuscarora, five. Last year, Freedom, I believe, much like the broad run Girls, Freedom was undefeated all the way into the playoffs. And Freedom Girls Tennis tonight opened with a 5-4 win over Heritage. So on the girls' side, it's good news for Freedom Girls Tennis. All right. Girls Lacrosse. Preseason coming into tonight, March 11th. We're going with Woodgrove as number one. They made it to the open... DHL State Tournament last year. Freedom, good AAA program in Stonebridge, two and three. We also have Broad Run, a AAA program at five, so it, it's kind of tough. Keep in mind now that when, when we're ranking these teams, we're mixing in ten schools from the Dulles District at the AA level and three schools that are at the AAA level. So we have Freedom, Stonebridge, and Broad Run are three AAA schools, and three of those make this top five and goes across. Loudoun County Girls, a AA program, comes in at number four. On the boys' side, Dominion, preseason number one, strong program last year. They had a great playoff run and made it to the state tournament. I think it was kind of a surprise there where you ended up with uh, Woodgrove, our number two, coming into the season. Both Woodgrove and Dominion made the state tournament last year. Briarwood's down at number five. Um, they were the favorite to repeat to make it uh, back into the state tournament. They didn't get into the state tournament. Uh, they were knocked off by Dominion in the semis of the sectional. Even though they did lose some seniors, we're going to put them at number five. We've got Stonebridge at three. Has Dylan Maltz back. One of the top scorers in the area, brother of uh, Derek Maltz, who's playing at Syracuse. And then we have at number four, Loud Valley. Also, in the weeks moving on, we'll not only do the top five, but we'll start to put teams on the bubble and those teams to watch. Boys soccer. Well, here's the one that uh, is a little interesting because the team that's standing at Number one, Tuscarora there, and uh, could already be uh, saddled with a tie or even a loss tonight. They are in overtime 
with Loudoun County. We are down at number five, and that match is tied 2 2. Briar Woods, we have at number two. And I see that uh, on Twitter, we already got some feedback from Connor Pompilio, who's a great Briar Woods player. Has since graduated, and he says the Briar Woods lineup is stacked. I've actually heard that from uh, another coach already, so keep an eye on Briar Woods. We have him at two, though. Strong. We have Broad Run at three. We hear good things about Broad Run. We have Freedom at four. Freedom had a run last year into the playoffs. And those are the boys' soccer loco top five coming into the season. Girls' soccer. Woodgrove, defending state champions, five or six players back who have college scholarship offers. They are loaded. So the Wolverines are ranked number one. Stonebridge, another another team that has a bunch of uh, players that sign college scholarships. I attended their college ceremony. They've got five or six players also headed to the college ranks. They're at number two, Broad Run, a team that is strong every year. And had a great run in double A. They're now at the triple A level. We have them at three. Freedom, another strong triple A program. We have Freedom at four. And Loudoun County is coming in at five. Girls soccer in Loudoun is one of the top spring sports. You'd have to go with uh, historically right now, girls soccer and softball are two of the sports that Loudoun has absolutely dominated in at the state level. And speaking of which, softball. Go ahead and put it up. This one was a little tricky to do. Uh, trying to think of which teams had players coming back. Uh, Woodgrove, which won a state championship in Double A, we put them at three because they did lose their pitcher and they lost some players. We put Stonebridge at number one. Uh, they have several players who have signed college scholarships, so Stonebridge appears to be loaded. Broad Run, we put it at number two, has again they have players coming back from the team. Both Stonebridge and Broad Run made it to state playoffs last year in triple a Loudoun County they're at four but they may not be at four for long because a lot of coaches are talking in our preseason forums that are being returned that Loudoun County could be the team to beat in the Dulles district this year and we're putting five at uh, Briar Woods who has had great success Chris Stark has taken over as the uh, head coach there for the Falcons and we're going to have them at number five. So like I said, when you look at the boys soccer, top, the top five and already people are going to say, okay, what are you talking about? This shows you how good your top five was the preseason rating. As we just look at it now, I just got a text in from Josh Holton from the Loudon, uh, Viva Loudon intern. Uh, Josh and Tyler Bailey uh, Two really talented seniors. Josh goes to Heritage. Tyler Bailey goes to Briar Woods, and they're going to be shooting videos for us this spring. And he says that Loudoun County has just gone up three to two in overtime. So Loudoun County is ahead of Tuscarora Boys Soccer, three to two in overtime. So an exciting start to the to the season on boys soccer. It's a great win. If if Loudoun County can hold on to that win, that would be a fantastic win for Loudoun County. Um, this may not be a dull district game. I gotta look at the schedule fully. I believe this year it could be that in Dulles they may not be playing um, two home and away district counters because a district up to ten teams that would be an 18 game season, which is just too much for boys soccer. So I'm gonna take a look at that. I got a feeling that the second time that everybody plays will be the district uh, counters. In our last top five. During our spring kickoff show is baseball. Stonebridge, number one. Freedom, number two. Triple A programs. Again, it's hard to compare the triple A's to double A's. They don't really play a lot. Uh, we have Loudon Valley at three and Potomac Falls at four. Now Potomac Falls is really the team to beat year in, year out in the Dulles district. We put them at four. The feedback that we're getting from uh, coaches that are returning their forms to us is that they feel like Valley is loaded and there's a chance uh, that they could that they could uh, take over the top spot but uh, 
We have Woodgrove at five, which is right behind him. So we've got Valley, Potomac Falls, Woodgrove. There's other teams such as Heritage that have uh, college scholarship players. So it's a scramble in the Dulles District. And in the AAA, with both Stonebridge and Freedom having done really well in the playoffs last year and having some key players back, we have them up top. All right, so it's sort of the live score show tonight. Um, this is the first night of the season. We try, you know, before spring break happens, we try to, you know, the, the games don't, really don't count in the district standings. Teams are getting going. It's, you know, it's early. I haven't been out on the fields a lot. But sometimes the first game of the season could be one of the most exciting games of the season. And now we find out that Tuscarora has come back and tied it up 3-3. Tuscarora boys soccer team has tied it up 3-3 with two minutes left in the second overtime. So a wild game of Tuscarora on the turf fields there. And uh, let's see if Tuscarora can come back and, and pull it out. That is uh, a great way to start the season. So we did a couple of things today that we haven't done before. And we did this top five. We're going to keep updating every week, so bear with us. Give us your feedback. Let us know what you think about it. The other thing is, Cheer Sports has been a big supporter of our coverage here. Ever since, you know, we way back when, we we've originally were with Loud Cup Sports, then working for Digital Sports, and now with Diva Loudon, they've always supported us. So they previously with us had done a an Athlete of the Month program, which was popular. This fall, we didn't get uh, on the ball right away and didn't get our Athlete of the Month going and so what we decided something fun would be to do an all Loudon team. Previously uh, I believe the Washington Post used to do an all Loudon extra team but they haven't done it in a couple of years. I don't think a lot of times Mirror does an all Loudon team so really when I thought about it there really isn't anybody that does an all Loudon team. So we would take those AAA schools, Stonebridge and Broad Run and Freedom Mix them in with all of the double A schools, which uh, starts with Briar Woods. And we have Dominion, we have Champ, Heritage, uh, County, and Valley, Parkview, Potomac Falls, Tuscarora, Woodgrove. Um, hopefully, I didn't forget anybody. Uh, so, we're going to mix all these schools together. It's 13 schools. It's very difficult to do. There's a lot of great athletes. So, in order for us to put together team that is all out and we kind of have to uh, pick a risk, go for broke a little bit. We might get it right, we might get it wrong. When we put this on our website in a couple of days, we will ask you for fan feedback because not only will we take all these athletes and invite them to a super special photo shoot in front of Cheer Sports this spring where we'll get uh, great pictures of these groups of athletes and then later on in a couple of weeks we'll do the winner all out in teams and we'll do the same thing, have a big photo shoot for them. but in addition to these athletes that we've named, we will have what we call a fan favorite. So if there's somebody that we missed, we'll put a, a form up online with the release of these teams, and then we'll say, did we miss somebody? Who's the fan favorite that we missed? We'll get three or four suggestions, maybe as many as five. It just depends on um, you know, how much feedback we get. We'll let you then vote on, you know, kind of like they do for the Major League Baseball All-Star Game, and who would you like to be for that fan favorite, and then we'll add them to the mix and the photo shoot. So that'll be kind of fun. Now I made a copy of these teams and put it up. Unfortunately, what I'm going to show you is a little sketchy and I'm going to have to work on uh, getting it up next time. So it's going to be hard to read. So I'm going to stick it up there anyway, just in hopes that you're able to see it a little bit better uh, that it's on my small screen here. But I have it over here to my left and I will post on Viva Loud. So let's start with All Loudon 2012 Golf. Matt Ashley, senior from Stonebridge. Danielle Cook, senior from Broad Run. Ryan Douglas, a senior from Heritage. Eric Dulick, junior Dominion. Daniel Friend, senior Tuscarora. Matt Henderson, a freshman from Dominion. Ian Hildebrand, junior Loudon Valley. Nick Kovac, senior from Woodgrove. Ryan O'Sullivan, junior from Heritage. Desiree Rezon. Junior from Broad Run, and Sam Stillwell, senior from Dominion, and Jake Wogelmuth, a senior from Broad Run. We are naming Matt Ashley, a senior from Stonebridge, as our golfer of the year. 
a great showing at the Cheers Open. Also moved on from a very tough Northern Region Tournament to the AAA State Tournament. Um, I he just edged out Ian Hildebrand, who's a close second there, who he was a runner-up in Double A. And the Coach of the Year, we're naming John Abbott of Dominion who led the Titans to the Dulles District title. So congratulations to those athletes. We move on to girls cross country. We are naming Carolyn Conley, junior from Loudoun Valley, Jackie Deffer, senior from Briar Woods, Sarah Dillison, a junior from Potomac Falls, Emma Gillies, freshman Woodgrove, Alex Jespasek, Senior from Woodgrove, Lori Koska, senior from Tuscarora, uh, Sivan O'Toole, junior from Freedom, Molly Palazzato, junior from Lyon Valley, Kelly Riley, freshman Tuscarora, Natalie Roses, junior Tuscarora, Anna Valdez, senior Lyon County, and Anna Wasco, sophomore Tuscarora. Apologize for butchering some of those names. Runner of the year is a freshman, Emma Gillies, who just head to head in a lot of the races. Uh, scored better than the rest of the runners. And the coach of the year, Rebecca Paterio uh, from Tuscarora, who helped lead the Tuscarora girls to the Region 2 title. Congratulations to all the athletes that we named. Boys cross country. 2012 All Loudoun Boys Cross Country. Sam Brazer, Junior Tuscarora, Tyler Brody, a junior with Stonebridge, John Dooney, Junior with Tuscarora, Logan Firebach, Senior Tuscarora, Austin Gilbert, a sophomore from Loudoun County, Brady Girton, Junior Stonebridge, Ryan Hughes, Junior Briar Woods, Patrick Joseph, Senior Loudoun County, Trent Lancaster, a junior Dominion, Austin Lashinsky, Senior Stonebridge, Chris Shopper, Senior Briar Woods, and Robert Willis, Senior Stonebridge. Boys Runner of the Year, no surprise here, Patrick Joseph, Loudoun County. Uh, posted one of the best times in Loudoun County history and just did did it all. What a fantastic career for Patrick Joseph. We named a special Boys Pack of the Year Potomac Falls because none of them made it into our top 12 there, but Matt Selsa, Jordan Fabrache, Ethan Pacifico, John Decker, Cy Curra, and Kevin Ryan. They ran together as a pack and brought home yet another Dulles District title for Potomac Falls. So it's a shout out to them. And our coach of the year is Matt Henry of Stonebridge, who led the Bulldogs to the Liberty District title. Very tough to win the Liberty District cross country meet. Saving the best for last year. We're going now to volleyball. 2012 All Loudon volleyball team. A lot of outside hitters, not very many middles, but we wanted to pick the best players that we could. So we go with Ryan Ackerman, senior Stonebridge, Kayla Carlton, a senior from Potomac Falls, Morgan Hammer, Loudoun Valley senior, Taylor Huey, a senior from Loudoun County, Haley Kramer, a sophomore from Freedom, and Maggie Phillips, a junior from Loudoun County, all outside hitters. In the middle, we have Sydney Busa, a junior from Heritage. Two setters we named, Eileen Fato. Potomac Falls, a senior, Megan Fox, a senior at Lowndes County, and three defensive specialists, the Liberos, Taylor Austin, a junior at Broad Run, Sailor Sarah Fairchild, a junior at Stonebridge, and Andrea Fung, a senior from Freedom. Co-players of the year were Ryan Ackerman, senior from Stonebridge, and Maggie Phillips, junior for Loudoun County. And we named Jenica Brown, it's not listed here on the, on the chart, but Jenica Brown, Mountain County was co-coach of the year, Jill Rascatori, uh, Stonebridge, uh, co-coach of the year. So the uh, Loudoun County, uh, Coach Brown, and Stonebridge Coach Rascatori, uh, both co-coach of the year. Congratulations to them. Final score from the boys. Soccer, Tuscarora 3, Loudoun County 3, so that it is a tie. And it shows that we're going to have a very fun Dulles District season. And that brings us now to the football. Now, let me tell you, football is so good in this area. Please, don't shoot the messenger. No bricks to the front windows here at our world headquarters. 
We tried the name, we tried to be fair, and here's what we came up with. And this is some talented players. On offense, Connor Smith, Jr. Stonebridge at center. Jared Coker, a junior, Briar Woods at guard, along with Gabe Stewartson, a senior at Stonebridge. The starting tackles would be Darius Anderson, a senior at Tuscarora, Nick Merletti, a junior at Briar Woods. At tight end, Cam Serenay, senior, Briar Woods. Our two receivers are going to be Brad Soka, senior, Loudoun County. Dante Yarborough, a senior from Stonebridge. Running backs, we went with three. These guys, their stats were so similar. We took Corey Calder, senior, Briar Woods. Noah Reimers, a sophomore, Tuscarora, and Josh Sweet. Sweet T, a junior of Woodgrove. Quarterback, Ryan Burns, senior Stonebridge. At the athlete position, Trace McSorry, a junior of Briar Woods, who threw for so many touchdowns, led Briar Woods to a third straight championship and almost ran for 1,000 yards this year. Return specialist, Rasan Goldring, senior of Stonebridge. If you were at their regional Final game, you know why we're naming him that. Amazing. I believe he had three returns for touchdowns in that game. And the kick specialist, R.J. Warfel, senior of Woodgrove. Our offensive player of the year is Trace McSorley, Briar Woods. He, the kid has done everything that you could imagine to lead his team to the state championship. And we are naming him our offensive player of the year. He's just a junior. Looking forward to seeing him play. He's racking up college offers. And uh, I'm still mad at him because way back in – I believe it was sixth grade. He uh, helped beat the house league basketball team that I was coaching in the championship. Thanks, Trace. And defense. Our last team that we're going to unveil tonight. We have competitive cheer, by the way, that we will unveil next week. I'm still contacting some of the coaches and putting that together. It's a little bit more difficult for me to do, but we're definitely going to uh, honor the competitive cheer as well. We have great competitive cheer teams here with uh, Briar Woods having won four straight state championships, Stonebridge having won four state titles in the past. On defense, defensive ends, we have three of them. Jonathan Allen, senior, Stonebridge. Cam Serenay, who's a first-team all-out in offense and defense. Briarwood, senior. Matt Valenzuela, senior, Dominion. At defensive lineman, Trey Germany, senior for Briar Woods. Jesse Mizell, senior, Stonebridge. Linebackers, there's four good linebackers. Nick Anthony, senior, Loudoun County. Drew Davidson, senior, Tuscarora. Cameron, Cameron Reynolds, senior, Stonebridge, and Matt Rowland, senior for Briar Woods. DBs, Mike Anderson, senior, Loudoun County. Mitch Chris Falusi, junior, Briar Woods. Adam Tang Tang, senior, Woodgrove. Christian Strahan, senior, Stonebridge. Our punter is Cameron Nizalik, senior for Freedom. The defensive player of the year, this is not going to surprise anybody, it's Jonathan Allen, headed to Alabama, the senior. And our co-coaches of the year are Charlie Pierce, Briar Woods, and Mickey Thompson, Stonebridge. Uh, Pierce leading his team to a third straight state title. Mickey Thompson getting his team back to the AAA championship again, coming basically within one or two plays of winning a state title. So congratulations to both of them. So we have now unveiled all of our all Loudon teams. It's the first time that we've tried this. This is all the fall teams. We'll pick competitive cheer next week. In about a week or two, once we can get a look at all the all-region and all the all-state teams roll in and the all-mets rolls in for Washington Post, they do a nice job. Uh, we'll sit down and we'll look at all 13 high schools and we'll pick boys and girls basketball, boys and girls swimming, wrestling, gymnastics, and we'll even do ice hockey. So look for that. And then once the spring season over, we'll do the same thing for the spring. All these athletes will be invited to a big photo shoot over at Cheer Sports. I'm sure Cheer Sports will be... Uh, cooking up some nice t-shirts for them as a uh, as a special thank you or uh, something for them to remember the fact that they've been named this and once again give us your feedback you can do it on Twitter at Viva Loud you can do it on Facebook uh, or just comment on the stories that we're going to put up on VivaLoud.com follow us on Viva Loud as we track all of these spring sports uh, we get the standings we'll try to get all the scores for you and it's just going to be an enjoyable season so there it is. Um, it's a little sketchy and hard to read some of those teams uh, as we put them up here on the show. But in a little bit later tonight, we're going to be sticking the stories up so that people can see them and comment on them. So this has been Viva Loud and Live with Dan Sousa every Monday night on dmvstream.com. We're here. Um, you can watch it all week in replay. So check us out and uh, enjoy your week, and let's hope that the fields stay dry.